I'm going to tell you why Kamala Harris has been able to grow in popularity in such a short amount of time. And it's so hard to believe, but it's true. And they include those rallies that you saw in my videos include people who voted for Donald Trump in 2016 and 2020 who jumped off the MAGA train. The MAGA movement is now 33%. It was higher before of the Republican Party. So he's lost some people. He stripped some people off. So I'm going to tell you three reasons why people have left him. All right. So here we go. So the similar way that you love Donald Trump for what he is in there, what we've been able to see in Kamala Harris, and I want you to go to this account in TikTok while you're TikTok after you watch this video and scroll through. And you're going to see Kamala Harris like embracing children and talking relatable. You're going to see her like hugging a grandmother who's worried about the future for her grandkids and her daughter. You're going to see her making recipes and being goofy. So she's a person. Same reason why you might like Donald Trump or you might think you find him endearing. She's a regular person. She uses swear words. She loves to cook. She, you know, you know, she's that. So folks can go quickly, quickly viral. Same way that you can like discover someone really quickly and find out more about them and just dig all in. That's what's going on. That's what happened. And go to that site, like I said, and you'll see just a lot more how she's endearing. And also her campaign represents joy and happiness. She's in her campaigns, we're dancing, we're joyful. Talks about the promise of America. The American flags are being waved there. Republicans traditionally, historically, have been known for parties of patriotism. But when you go to a Kamala Harris rally, you see America. You see your side by side, elbow by elbow, with people who look like you, you went to school with, your neighbors. It represents what America is, the diverse multicultural land that it is. And she says it was an opportunity and she's building opportunity for workers, for students, for growing families, for small businesses. And so that's a lot of us. And we also see in Kamala Harris, someone who's a reflection of us, a mirror. Um, you might look in the mirror and see Donald Trump. We see someone who grew up middle class, like I grew up middle class or low middle class, who has struggled with bills. I've done that. And she talks about her growing up with her mom, you know, getting all the bills together. And the Republicans I've seen make fun of her for telling the story. But essentially, when they're doing that, they're making fun of her. Because when she's telling her story, her story is my story. It's all of our story. Is what caused us to be endeared by her. The fact that, yes, we know about this. A lot of us grew up in towns or in cities or in blocks when, you know, these people that you grew up, you don't, you know, you're not the family, but they become family. So folks can relate to that you know, getting a job at McDonald's. I worked at Church's Fried Chicken. No, it's not on my resume. As someone who's the age, big age I am, who have two law degrees, a journalism degree, have worked at lots of places, why would I put my my job I had in high school on my resume? That doesn't make sense. So you've probably been hearing a caricature of, of Kamala Harris based on the echo chambers you're in. They're saying, they're defining her. So I challenge you, and if you went to high school, I'm assuming you did, in the United States or wherever, you probably had a friend or someone take tell you a rumor about someone you don't know and you believe them because you trust that source because you trust Donald Trump you trust your MAGA circles what they say about Kamala Harris but you don't know that person so when you maybe paired with them in a high school science class pairs you up or you have to sit next to them in a class you see them you get to know them you're like oh my god they're nothing like what I was told so that's what I'm telling you my challenge to you is go to this account after you watch this video Kamala and you're going to see the videos that I'm talking about of her engaging being goofy, laughing, you know, all that stuff is kind of like, that's, it's the joy. You know, they laugh at us saying joyful, but people want to believe in something and optimism and hope and brightness. Promise of America, she has this opportunity economy where, you know, she has policies targeting, like, like I said, workers, students, of all of us, you know? So that's the majority of Americans. People love that, 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 that hope, that promise. So that is why she's grown so fast in popularity, believe it or not, you mentioned 2020. We're now in 2024, so we need you to, yeah, we're in 2024. Now, on the other side, you have, to this joy, you have doom and gloom. The three reasons why people have left Donald Trump or just, like, don't want that is because, one, not just because him personally, like, he, you know, was he's a 34-time convict. He incited insurrection. He stole documents. You know, he was banned from a children's charity, stole from a children's charity. He uses vitriolic, hate, divisive language. All the things that he does is kind of like him himself personally you know cheating on all his wives and we don't think he's a good person you think he is we don't think he's so that's one reason people like he's just unhinged he just says all these things so the second reason is that his campaign is dark he calls america a garbage of the united states like what kind of what is he signal to other people world when he's calling us the garbage pail he's saying america's in decline he's painting the picture of america that's bleak and people are just like they don't want that dark dystopian like we're a failing nation we're a nation that's in serious decline.
We're being laughed at all over the world, all over. You know, we want to be happy. We don't. So people are just like, they're tired of that. They don't want that dark. Folks believe America is exceptionalism. Donald Trump is not p pushing that. So that's the second reason. The third and final reason is that he's had a, he's had a, a record. So he promised all these things for manufacturing jobs. We're going to bring the jobs back. The jobs didn't come back. In fact, Donald Trump, I'm going to say in the next video, has had a lot of anti-worker policies. Um, so many so. When I was doing research for the video, I was like, oh my God. Like, he's scaled back a lot of stuff. He's only for the big guys. There's a reason why the billionaires are propping him up. Because he only cares about them. Yeah, so Donald Trump's policies have been horrible for workers, have been horrible for farmers. Like, his tariffs, he's promising his tariffs. Last time, his tariffs actually bankrupt a bunch of farmers. Trump did this. We paid a tax, if you will, on his tariffs. And our farmers lost a lot of market share in other countries. We lost a lot of farmers to bankruptcy because of Trump's tariffs last time. So he's boasting about this. And then he talks about tax on tips. When he was president, he actually made it easier for employers to take their tips. So he's made a 360. So he's made a like a, about face on policies that he had to actually hurt workers on tips. So all he rolled back all these energy, these standards related to health, water. And so he's been terrible, t terrible. I mean, we, we remember that. So people don't want to go back to that. When we say we're not going back, it's like we remember the Donald Trump years when him like rolling back protections, just doing a lot of horrible things, to just, just, just terrible. So yeah, so that's why. So it's it's not easy when you know people say that's the option. Okay, I'm gonna gravitate to this. So and it's a movement, and people see when they see the videos, like oh my god, that looks like fun. I'm gonna go join in. So when you see a concert and you weren't able to go the first time, or you see people have it and it's a concert, you're like, I can't wait till they come to my city so I can go, because that looks like fun. So that's what you're seeing. People are like, oh my God, that looks so fun. And then you said something about cell phone data. Let me tell you something, because someone who's an attorney who did tech law, so I went to school for several years in technology. I did a paper on cell phone towers. We don't have the technology, and even if we did, that would require somebody from the Trump administration to go travel from, from to the... Um, from all of Kamala's, Kamala's rallies to have a satellite above, to, for them to go up there, have a satellite or drone, and try to, p try to ping and triangulate personal cell phones home by different people, and then national, that, we don't have the technology to do that. Donald Trump doesn't have any money to hire anybody to do that. That's not feasible. So whoever told you that is just telling you stuff. They're just hoping they tell you stuff. You when someone, you see stuff or people say stuff on social media, you gotta think to yourself, does that sound like that's something that could happen? Because you want to believe it and because you want to believe, you don't want to believe those rallies are for hers and, and you want to believe there's an there's a explanation from it for it, like AI or there's the same people she's being busted in. It's easier for you to believe something because you want to believe it because you don't want to believe the opposite, which is that she's just growing in popularity and she is that popular. She's going to get n more than 91 million votes and that's a, that's a small microcosm of the votes that she's about to get. So get used to it. That's what I did the video for and that's what I'm telling people to share that video so folks can, like you, can just uh, be less likely to believe the big lie. So go watch that, that go back to that account, scroll those videos in this, this account after this.